my name is Emmanuel Czechleves and I'm a senior lecturer in design interactions at uh, Imagination Research Lab. So Active Parks is about co-designing uh, an interactive and playful health trail in Rylands Park um, here at Lancaster. And uh, in the project we're working very closely with the local community, uh, the Lancaster City Council and the NHS Public Health in, in Lancashire. Um, to create um, a health trail that will encourage uh, older and sedentary people to take a bit of more casual physical activity in the park. We're using uh, Rylands Park uh, here in Lancaster as a use case. Our aim is whatever we create and, and co-design uh, that is scalable across other parks in the UK. And this project was uh, looking at a specific park here in Lancaster that actually lacks any form of infrastructure to facilitate uh, casual physical activity. An important element of this project is the, um, the value of playfulness uh, in terms of influencing behaviour change and in this case positive behaviour change because we're talking about uh, encouraging people to, to go more outdoors, be more physically active and also socialise. Playfulness is ageless no matter how old you are and it's something that we tend to lose um, at least from a, a social practice perspective as we grow up. Uh, and what Active Parks has shown us, what the co-design process has shown us is people, no matter what age they are, they want interventions that they are playful, they have playfulness at their core uh, as a motivator to engage with them. And again, playfulness is something that has a lot to give in the area of health and well-being. So we're in the Market Square in Lancaster testing the second version of our prototype for the Action Parts project. We had some great ideas on how to improve it further. People are very um, creative. Overall, the, uh, the feedback has been amazing on the possibilities. I thought it was really lovely and I thought it would be great in a park or an open space, anywhere like that. Do you like the lights? So this prototype really changes uh, the way we, um, we think about, about the park and the potentials that are available in terms of inviting people to be playful uh, and exercise in the park. The most important element is to see what is the value of democratising design, of involving the local community in the design and making of uh, a proof of concept prototype. And in our case we were quite lucky because through the funding we received we managed to realise uh, one of these prototypes which we tested uh, in late June and in a space of three hours we received um, over 150 visitors and the feedback was overwhelming. Um, the important thing for us was that it addressed the, the key values that came from the co-design process. Um, so I think this is the legacy of projects like Active, Active Parks is to showcase uh, the benefits of involving the community and uh, it has been uh, very well received in terms of its playfulness and how approaches like this um, may in fact be the way forward in motivating uh, uh, public health. I think works very well because Cattle is all about community-led um, uh, innovation for social impact. Um, it fits within the philosophy of the Catalyst project. What we ended up with uh, we would have not achieved if we hadn't gone with the co-design process. So the, the amount of novelty and innovation um, was uh, outstanding. And the important thing is, I believe we created something, we co-created something that people are a lot more likely to use because they have a stake in its design, its making and its use.